so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hello! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at. Whoa, today I'm at Young Chef's Academy in Covington, Washington. This place is so cool. Yeah, where young chefs, kids just like you, can come here and learn to cook some delicious treats. <laughs> Let's go! Hi, Flippy. Hey, who are you? My name's Chef Riley. Oh, nice to meet you, Chef Riley. Hey, do you mind if we go explore the kitchen? Go for it. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, let's go. Wow, look at this kitchen. It is so bright and colorful. Whoa, come on. Okay, the very first thing that I need to do when you enter kitchen is wash your hands. Okay, I'm gonna turn on hot water and then I'm gonna rinse them. Okay, get them nice and moist. And then we need some soap. Okay, and we need to scrub for 20 seconds. And one way to do this is to sing the ABCs. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. <laughs> okay, now we get to rinse off our hands. Let's get them nice and dry. Now, once our hands are dry, clean, now we can put on an apron. <laughs> yeah, an apron is used so then clothes not get dirty when you're cooking with some food. <laughs> All right. And can't forget my Young Chef's Academy chef's hat. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> All right. Check it out. This kitchen is so colorful. Do you see all these cabinets? Yeah. Whoa. These, yeah, are the color green. Ooh, this over here, yeah, that cabinet is purple, pink, yellow, and blue. Whoa, I bet there's a lot of cool things in these cabinets. Whoa, look at this, some yummy vegetables. Hey, do you know what kind of vegetable this is? Yeah, this is an orange pepper. Look at these! Yeah, some green beans! I sure do love vegetables. All right. <laughs> I'm so excited! Wow! I am so excited! This is gonna be tasty! I am looking at the recipe of what we're gonna be making today. Looks like we're gonna be making crispy green beans. Whoa! Those look tasty. And creamy ranch dip. Oh, this is gonna be so yummy and healthy. I love vegetables and I love ranch dip. I wonder if we're gonna be able to dip the green beans into the ranch dip. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it seems like we need a lot of tools and a lot of ingredients. So, uh, let's get to it. All right, let's see what's in here that we need. Okay. Like, we need some measuring cups, Ooh, a small one, a medium sized one, another medium sized one, and a big one. <laughs> okay. Put those right back here. Perfect. Then we need whoa, a juicer. This is where you can put a lemon or an orange or a lime, squeeze it on top, and then all the juice comes out the bottom. Okay, we'll set that down right there. Alrighty, let's see what's in here. Hmm, oh, we definitely need some measuring spoons. Whoa, yeah, same thing, just like the measuring cups. The measuring spoons have four different sizes, from small to medium, the medium, the large. <laughs> okay, put them 
right, about right in there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, uh, let's see, how about, uh, oh, wow, a measuring cup. This is what you put liquids and you could do solids, but this is primarily for liquids. And this is what you measure to see how much you have. Okay, put that down right there. Oh, let's see, is there anything in here? Hmm, there's a lot of cool things in here. Whoa, look at this, it's a rolling pin. <laughs> oh, so cute. This is a small rolling pin. Whoa, and this is a big rolling pin. Whoa, they're used to flatten things out. I don't think we need those today, but they're pretty cool because you can use them for drums. Okay, enough playing. <laughs> let's get to cooking. All right, let's see. Um, probably right in here. Oh, yeah! Two ingredients that we need. Breadcrumbs. And flour. Perfect. Okay, we'll shut this. All right. There we go. And uh, let's see. How about some cold ingredients? Wow, look at this fridge. It's so organized. <laughs> okay, looks like we have some cream, probably for the ranch dip. We'll set that down right there. Ooh, some cheese, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll put that down right there. And then we have some eggs. Yeah, check this out. Whoa, whoa, okay, we'll put those down right there for later. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that at home. And then we have some mayonnaise. Put that down right here. And some sour cream, okay, put that down. And now, I think we're ready. Hmm. <sighs> Looks like we have most of the ingredients and tools. But this looks really hard. Oh no, if only I had some help. Huh. Want some help with these? Oh, sure. I hey. Brought, hey, I brought the rest of our ingredients that we need. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, here's the recipe. What do we do first? First, we're gonna wanna preheat the oven to 425. Okay, uh, I know how to do that. Okay, preheat the oven to 425. Perfect. <laughs> Good job, Whoopi. Thank you. All right, first we're gonna wanna do a tablespoon of flour into our bowl. Okay. We're gonna wanna make sure that we get a true tablespoon because that is not accurate. So we wanna scrape off the extra flour. Okay. Okay, can you do that? Sure. Okay, looks like we need some flour. Let's do a little scoop. go and perfect great job Lippy. Thank all you. right next we're gonna want to crack an egg okay Let's see so at young chefs academy we crack an egg using the table not the edge of the counter so that it doesn't get all over the floor in the mess okay <laughs> you want to crack hard oh, and use your thumbs to break open the egg just like that perfect you'll want to put the shell in a separate bowl okay here we go Table. There we go. Great job, Luffy. Thank Next, you. Next, we're going to want to wash our hands because we touched a raw egg. Oh. them off. It's really important to rinse off your hands and wash them completely after touching raw eggs or meat or anything like that. Now we're ready. Okay. All right. Next we're going to want to do a cup of panko. Okay. Use our cup there. Wow. So this looks about right. 
Yeah. So is panko just like breadcrumbs? It is. Dried breadcrumbs. Okay. All right. Oh. I'm going to use that. Okay. One big scoop. All right. In the same bowl? Yeah. Oh, so sorry. In a different bowl. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, here we go. Whee! Perfect. All right, next we're going to want to add the rest of our spices, okay. which is garlic salt and salt. Okay. So we're going to want to use a, tea, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic salt in our panko. Okay. There we go. This one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then put it in the panko. Perfect. And then half of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Salt is so yummy. Here we go. Can you use your whisk and whisk that up? Yeah. Oh, check it out. This is a whisk. Yeah. And <laughs> How do you do it? Whisk with your wrist. Okay. Whoa. This is a really good way to mix good it all up. Job. Yeah, you want to use it like that. All right. Next, we're going to want to put our egg into this mixing bowl. The clean mixing bowl that we have. Okay. Here we go. Put the egg in this bowl. Whee. Oh. <laughs> all right. And we're going to want to use a little bit of water. Just gonna water like this. In with the egg. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Put some water in with the egg. Perfect. Can you whisk that, whisk that egg up with the fork for me? With the fork. Okay. Forks are easier to whisk eggs than a whisk is. Oh, okay. So you want to whisk it just like that. Okay, so let's take the fork and let's whisk the egg. Whoa, did you see how the yolk broke up? Yeah, and now it's all mixed up. Perfect. That's perfect. We're going to grab a couple handfuls of green beans right in here. Okay. Right. Perfect. And toss it in our flour. All right. Make sure you get them all nice and mixed up and coated in flour. Okay. Toss it. Wow. This Look is going to help the egg stick to the green bean. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Look. They used to be green, but now they're green and white. <laughs> hey, remember how we washed our hands? Yeah, good thing we did because I'm touching food with my hands. You don't want to touch anything after you touch egg or raw meat. You want to make sure you wash your hands. Okay. All right. Now we are going to touch the egg. We're going to put the green beans. We're going to use two different hands. We're going to have our dry hand and our wet hand. So we're not going to touch the egg with this hand. We're going to put our green beans in here and toss it around. Okay, take the fork out. Now, do a little tossing. There we go. Whoa, <laughs> I'm spilling. That's okay. Okay, wow. Look at it. <laughs> There's so much egg on these green beans. Okay. All right, great. Now you're going to want to put the green beans into the panko. Toss them around real quick. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Good. That looks job. fun. And once they're nice and evenly coated in panko, you want to put them onto the tray. Okay. Whoa. These are going to be so yummy. I know. I'm excited. Let's put them a little bit nicer so okay. that they're not so messy. Okay. All that right. way they'll cook really evenly when they're spread out on the there tray. There we go. That makes sense. Oh, I see. Because if they're on top of each other, then the heat can't touch the whole green bean, huh? Exactly. You want to make sure that the whole thing is getting cooked. We're ready for the oven. Okay. Here we go. Here we 
Here you go. Thank you. Perfect. Those will take about 10 to 12 minutes to cook. <laughs> Whoa, that was really fun making those green beans with you. Wasn't it? Yeah, let's make some ranch to dip them in. What ingredients do we need? We need mayonnaise, sour cream, buttermilk. Ooh. Wait, did you say buttermilk? Yeah. Oh, I said cream earlier. Okay, so we need buttermilk. Yeah, they're very similar, but buttermilk smells different and it's a little thicker. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, lemon juice, dill weed, parsley, chives, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. Okay, perfect. Looks like we have everything. I think we do. All right, next we're gonna wanna so I have mine all mixed up. Can you put the mayo and the sour cream into your big bowl? Okay, here's the mayo. Then we have the sour cream. All right, there we go. Awesome, now we're gonna wanna do half a cup of buttermilk into okay. your bowl. All righty. Go. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna wanna get our fourth, one fourth teaspoon. Okay. Perfect, I'm ready. And we're gonna use that for our dill right here. Okay. Parsley and our chives. Okay. Dill, parsley, and chives. There we go. Good job, okay. <laughs> Next we're gonna want our half teaspoon. Okay. A little bigger. <laughs> Alright. Alright, and we use that for our garlic powder okay. and our onion powder. Alright. Okay, let's give it a little scoop. Okay, and then this one. Perfect. This is gonna be so yummy. Alright. Perfect. Let's mix that up with our whisk. Don't right. forget, we whisk with our wrists. All right. Whoa, this smells so good. Once it's all mixed up, we're gonna cover it and place it in the fridge to cool. All right, we only have three more ingredients. Okay, what are they? Lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Okay. First, we want to juice our lemon. Okay. So you have a lemon right up there. Perfect. We have it cut in half and we'll use our juicer here. We want to make sure we squeeze really tight, pushing down and twisting it around to get all of that juice out. Okay. Yes, I'll try. Oh, there we go. Good job. Oh, yeah. When you take it off, your lemon should look something like this. Yeah. It's almost empty. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. There's that for you. And then we'll want to pour our lemon juice into our ranch. Okay, here we go. Whee! <laughs> awesome. Mix that up. All right. Yum. Now we want to do one fourth teaspoon of salt. Right like this. Okay, hey, put some salt in here. There we go. Whee! <laughs> and a pinch of pepper. So we'll go about three twists. Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's mix that up. All right, mix, mix, mix. And remember to mix with your wrist. Oh, yep. Oh, wow, this is gonna be so yummy. <laughs> Delicious. Did you hear that? I did. Does that mean the green beans are done? It does, you wanna grab them? Sure. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, yum. Wow. Oh, look delicious, Blippi. Whoa, check them out. Oh my gosh. It looks like our green beans and zesty ranch are all ready. Oh, so good. Those look yummy. Check them out. Whoa. 
I am so excited. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make these. Of course, you did such a good job. Come back anytime. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Wow, I am so excited. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. That is delicious. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, you would think because they're green, they're not good. <laughs> but hey, trust me, it's really fun to try new types of food. Yeah, like these yummy green beans that we made. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Yum. Even healthy foods can be really yummy. <laughs> good job cooking. <laughs> oh, yee <-haw>. <laughs> Wasn't that fun making those green beans and that ranch dipping sauce? Yum. It was so tasty. Hey, if you want to check out the exact recipe, you can go to Young Chefs Academy website and check out their blog. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> It's me, Flippy, and today we are here at Sun Buggy Fun Rentals in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I am so excited because we get to learn all about different kinds of vehicles <laughs> that go really, really fast. And if we're lucky, maybe we can even drive one. <laughs> Come on, let's go explore. This place. What's Hi. up, Blippi? Hi, what's your name? I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Whoa! And what is this vehicle you're working on? Right here we have a dune buggy. Whoa, a dune buggy? Well, why do you call it that? We actually specifically designed these machines for the dunes, for hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> Whoa, I love hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> this vehicle is awesome. Whoa, and <laughs> check it out. It has a really big wheel and tire. <laughs> yeah. And you see, this tire has lots of really big treads to grab the sand and the dirt so it can go really fast up those hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> and also has shocks. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, and check it out. It's also my favorite color. One of my two favorite colors. Orange! <laughs> uh, but Matt, this looks a little different from a regular car. I can see through it. <laughs> we actually make it like that so the roll cage keeps you safe and you have fun. Whoa, that's always good. Be safe when you're having fun. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. It's the engine. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big. Looks like this dune buggy can go really fast. <laughs> These dune buggies can go 35 miles an hour in the sand. Whoa, 35 miles per hour in the sand. <laughs> that's really fast. <laughs> well, I really wish I could ride one of these dune buggies. <laughs> well, do you want to go out to the desert and try one? Would I? That would be awesome! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at this place! It's so big! <laughs> and really sandy and sunny. <laughs> Matt, where are we? We're in the Mojave Desert. Whoa! The Mojave Desert? Awesome! It sure is sandy here. And it looks like there are lots of hilly sand and Looks like sand everywhere, really. <laughs> yeah, those hills are sand dunes. Oh, sand dunes? Did someone make them? Nope, just nature, wind and sand. Oh, that's so cool. Wait a minute, sand dune, dune buggy? Do we get to ride on the sand dunes? Just you today. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, I am so excited to ride on a sand dune and drive a dune buggy. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Look at all these vehicles! <laughs> hey, I know this one. It's a dune buggy. Mm, but Matt, where is this? what's this vehicle over here? This one over here? Yeah. This is a UTV, a utility vehicle. Whoa, a UTV! Awesome! It looks kind of like a dune buggy. It has 
four wheels. One, two, three, four. But you can't see through it. <laughs> and it looks a little bit different. It also has uh, one of these. What's it has a called? roll cage, just like the dune buggy. Oh, cool. A roll cage? So it's nice and safe. <laughs> uh, but Matt, what's this back here? Is this, this the is, trunk? <laughs> this is a bed like a truck. Whoa, that's really handy. So I guess if you're on a farm and you need to put tools in it, yeah. you have a trunk. So Ooh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, and check it out. There's another vehicle over here. Huh. Whoa. This one is our ATV. This is an all-terrain vehicle. ATV, all-terrain vehicle. <laughs> awesome. Whoa. It's a little bit smaller than the other two, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks super fast <laughs> and has four wheels, but Matt, it doesn't have a steering wheel. No steering wheel? These are called handlebars. Whoa, just like a motorcycle or a bicycle? <laughs> this looks pretty fun, but I want to ride the dune buggy over the dunes. <laughs> I'm also really excited to ride it because it's one of my two favorite colors, orange. <laughs> okay, Matt, I think I'm all ready to start driving, but What's the first thing I need to know before I drive the dune buggy? The first rule for driving dune buggies is always safety. Safety first. <laughs> okay, I want to be really safe, so what's the first safety thing I need to know? So we're going to get you inside of the dune buggy and we're going to put your seatbelts on first. <laughs> okay, seatbelt first. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is get your seatbelt on. Awesome. Here we go. And this buckle here is going to connect your two seatbelts. <laughs> Whoa. Here we go all strapped in. So what's the next thing I need? Next, and this dune buggy is going to be your hand straps. These okay. keep your hands inside of the ride at all times. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Great. Okay. And, uh, but how do I drive the dune buggy? So this dune buggy is automatic, just like a car. Ooh, uh, so where do I put the key? <laughs> no key today. <laughs> you just have a switch and a button. Okay. So when you're ready to go, switch goes up, you hit that button, and you're good to go. <laughs> okay, I'm all ready to go. <laughs> First, let's get your helmet, okay? Okay, we'll put on the helmet. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, helmet on. All right, yeah. make sure your helmet is strapped tight. Pull the strap through the loop. Perfect. Oh, and goggles! <laughs> okay. We want to put on our goggles so we don't have any sand in our eyes. <laughs> It looks like I'm all ready to go. All right. Have fun, Blippi. Woohoo! See you soon. You did great! Yeah! <laughs> you wanna try the ATV now? Yeah! Come on! Let's, Let's try it out! Alright, so this one, a little easier than the dune buggy to start. So you have your key on the right side there. Go ahead and turn your key for me. Okay. Key's on. Alright, so now with that thumb, press that button there for me. This one right here? Yep. Okay. And where's the gas pedal? So, where your thumb is, that's your gas pedal. Okay, here we go.
You did great. <laughs> that was so much fun. Well, we rode the dune buggy and the ATV. You want to try the UTV? <laughs> yeah. All right, don't forget your seatbelt, just like your car. Here we go. And this one is like the ATV. Turn your key to the right, and it'll go ahead and start. OK. Right. Have fun. Here we go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Do you hear that? Do you know what kind of vehicle makes that sound? <laughs> yeah! A truck or a car! Hey, for this next song, let's dance like we're driving a car! Hit the gas! Hit the gas! Hit the brake! Hit the brake! Hear the engine! Hear the engine! Do a figure eight! To go fast, you wanna put your foot down and hit the gas. If there's something ahead and you need to make a sudden stop, then hit the brake. It's alright and it's okay. Make sure that you look both ways with your hand at nine and your hand at one. Let's go for a drive, let's have some fun. Hit the gas, hit the gas, hit the brake, hit the brake, hear the engine, hear the engine, do a figure eight. From the mirrors on my car From behind I can see very far This is important if I need to break Or especially when I overtake It's alright and it's okay We take it at our own pace One hand at ten, the other at two Go for a ride, you know what to do Hit the gas Hit the gas Hit the brake Hit the brake Hear the engine Hear the engine Do a figure eight With some good driving. Wow! That was awesome! I had so much fun with you here at Sun Buggies in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we learned so much together. We learned all about ATVs. UTVs and dune buggies. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay, B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -I. Lippy, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Let's ride. <laughs> And today, 
We are here at Cambridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> and I want to get some healthy exercise. Hey, why don't we play some basketball? I love basketball. Come on. <laughs> Look at where we're at. It's a basketball court. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I am so excited to be playing basketball with you today. <laughs> yeah. I love basketball. <laughs> but I'm especially excited because this isn't a regular basketball court. It's a special one because the Indiana Fever practice here. <laughs> yeah. And look at their logo. Whoa. It is so colorful. <laughs> We have the color red, the color blue, the color white, and the color yellow. <laughs> Whoa, but do you see what I see? <laughs> yeah, it's the basketball hoop. Come on. Whoa. Look at it. <laughs> I can't believe we are so close to a basketball hoop that is shot at by the Indiana Fever. <laughs> Look, we have the hoop and the net, which hangs down. And look at the rectangle behind it. Yeah, the rectangle. That's called the backboard. And the shot clock. Woo! <laughs> oh, I really want to play some basketball and make three pointers and layups. Whoa! It's professional basketball player, Tamika Catchings. Hi, Tamika. I'm Hi, Blippi. Blippi. <laughs> oh, wow. Would you like to play basketball together? I would love to play basketball with you. <laughs> Whoa, that would be so awesome. <laughs> but Tamika, is there anything we should do before we start playing? Of course, we need to stretch. <laughs> okay, let's start stretching. <laughs> well, what kind of stretches do you like to do before you play a game? Well, I always like to start off with my legs. Hey, I want to get my leg warmed up, and then I want to get my arms warmed up. So let's start with a, a short stretch, a small stretch. We'll have both of our legs together, feet together. Okay. And we're going to bend over from our waist okay. and try to touch the floor. Try to go as low as you can go. Whoa, look, I'm touching my toes. <laughs> and I love to count because counting is so important. So let's count to three. Okay, will you count to three with us? Okay, here we go. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> Whoa. Shake it out. Shake it out. All right. <laughs> Good job stretching. <laughs> Play defense. Your legs have to be spread apart. A little bit beyond shoulder width apart. Bend your knees and your arms out. All right. And your bottom half. Here we go. You ready for this? I'm ready. Flippy, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna go side to side. Let me get over. We're gonna go okay. side to side. Here we go. Cross the paint. Ready? Here we go. One. <laughs> Two. Let's go one more time. Three. Whoa! <laughs> Three defensive slides. That was awesome! <laughs> I think we're just about ready to learn more about playing basketball. <laughs> but is there anything else we're missing? Well, looking at our outfit, we need to get changed. <laughs> you ready for this? I'm ready. Here we go! Whoa, Tamika, you look great. You look amazing. Whoa, <laughs> we look all ready to play with the basketball. <laughs> Whoa, well, what should we do first? Well, I think we should. We'll start with dribbling, then we'll go to passing, and then we will finish with shooting. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I love shooting. Woo! I like Swish. that form, Blippi. I like that form. Uh -huh. Okay, so how should we dribble? Well, I think the most important thing, when you start with dribbling, you have to use your finger pad, not your palm, but your finger pad, all right? <laughs> so we're gonna do three dribbles with our right hand using our finger pad. Snap your wrist. You ready for this? Let's do it. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoa! And we did it with our right hand, so now we should try it with our left hand. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three. 
great. Oh, I love those too. Okay. Love dribbling. You want to try something a little bit fancy? Yeah. Let's try something really fancy. All right. We're going to do this really fast, but we're going to do crossover. So we're going to not just keep it in one hand. We're going to go from one hand to the other hand, other hand, other hand. Okay. We'll try it. Five times. Five times. Five times. <laughs> okay. Five times. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. four. Five. Good job, Whoa! <laughs> Dribbling is so fun. Now it's time to move on to passing. I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna step, step, bound. Whoa! Step, bounce. Good job, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa! This is fun. <laughs> and notice when you dribble or when you bounce the ball, it does not bounce right directly in the middle. It's a little bit beyond the middle part. All right, so okay. Got to come right up. Boom. One more, Blippi. One more. Good Whoa, job. That yeah. was fun. Go at this. And pass. <laughs> okay, here we go. Step and pass over our head. <laughs> Good job, Blippi. Whoa, I like this one. <laughs> you do? Why do you like this pass? It's really fun. <laughs> Feels like there's a lot of power in your arms when they're above your head. And you can and pass it really you have far. Big muscles, too. So <laughs> that is our overhead pass. So we did dribbling, and we did passing. Hmm, what else did we forget? And we did defense. And defense. Shooting! <laughs> How can we forget shooting? <laughs> ooh, ooh, look at that form. <laughs> All right, so I always like to say when I come to the gym, I want to start close. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start kind of close. All right, just getting the form together. Same thing, you talked about the finger pads on the dribble. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to do the same thing when we shoot. All right, so on the pad, whoa, in the hoop. <laughs> swish. <laughs> Didn't even use the backboard. Well, we're kind of close. So this is all about form shooting and okay. getting your form together. Ooh, can I try it? Of course you can. Okay, I'll try it over here on the left side. So take my hand like this. Put it on your finger pads. There finger you go. Pads. And how should my arm be here? It should be 90 degrees. Okay. Whoa. Got the 90 degree angle. Yeah. And then you have your other, yep, right there. Oh, you just need... like an L. <laughs> that Whoa. was great. Good job, Ricky. I made it. Well, what other kind of shots can we take? Mm, well, you know what? Let's do a jump shot. So if you okay. stay right there, I'll come up here and we'll do a jump shot. Most of the time when you get into a jump shot, it is about jumping. Obviously, <laughs> you got to jump off the floor to shoot the shot. Okay, here we go. Are you First, ready? A chest pass. Whoa, swish! <laughs> okay, and now it's my turn. Okay, here you you want to go on the same side? Yeah, I'm going to go on the same side over on the right. All right, you ready? Chest pass into a jump shot. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh oh, I missed, but that's okay. We just need a little more practice. <laughs> Let's take one more shot. Okay. I think you can do it. You ready? Try it again. Let's go, Blippi. Are you cheering Blippi on? Come on, Blippi. <laughs> All right. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! It went in. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> well, are there any other types of shots that we need to learn about? Well, I think it's important because not everybody gets to shoot out there. So sometimes you have to be able to shoot closer to the basket. I like the post up into a hook shot. Ooh, what's a post up into a hook shot? Well, most of the time, if you're one of the taller players, but even some of our guards get down here. We got the mean guards. <laughs> All right? If you get down, you take the ball, dribble, and a hook shot is when you take the ball over your head and hook it into the basket. Oh, All right? okay. Well, the ball goes into the basket. So then... Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that was really that good. Was awesome and great defense. I tried. I had my hands up. <laughs> Okay. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, you want to try it? So, for a hook shot, what's the first thing I need to do? Well, the first thing, so most of the time you're going to post up, right? So you're going to be facing that way. Good okay. job, all right? Facing, facing this that way? way? So then the ball is going to come to you. And I like to say, when the ball comes to me, I like to dribble, one dribble. You might need to do two dribbles. I okay. step with my left, my right leg comes up, and then I hook it in. Okay. All right, you ready to try it? I'm ready to try it. All right, here we go, Blippi. Let's go. Let's go, Blippi. <laughs> okay, first, I'll post up, and then I dribble two times, step in, and <laughs> hook shot. But 
Again. I need a little more practice. Well, let's try oh, it again. Your that's your first time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's my first time. So if you miss on your first time, that's okay. You can just try again. <laughs> Here we go. Remember, post up, dribble, dribble, dribble step. Oh. <laughs> well, uh oh. Maybe I need a little more practice than two times. Wow. Tamika, you are a really good basketball coach. I can believe you. Well, we learned dribbling, passing, and shooting, and I made a layup. <laughs> well, I think we're ready to play a game. Well, what do you think about playing horse? Whoa! I love the game horse. Do you know how to play horse? <laughs> well, it's a game where one person makes a shot. And if they make it, the other person has to make the same shot. <laughs> but if they miss, they get a letter. And the first person to spell the word, they lose. <laughs> you don't want to spell the word. Hey, instead of playing horse and spelling horse, let's play Blippi and spell my name. Ah, you know what, Blippi? You are so creative. I love that. <laughs> Thanks. Well, let's play. So I've also been thinking, You've been practicing all day, and you are looking so much better. I think you're ready for the big show. The big show? <laughs> Let's meet today's players. Why don't we just make the orange and blue? Your friend, Libby! And the East Smith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, four-time Olympic champion, and Indiana Fever legend, Tamika. Right side, right hand layup. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start on the right side and do a right hand layup. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> baby. Okay, there you go. All now right, it's Tamika's turn. Left side. Let's go off the backboard. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> that's a little tricky. <laughs> Left side, and now off the backboard. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Good job, Blippi! No letters yet. Let's keep playing. <laughs> All right, let's go for a free throw. Well, what's a free throw? Well, a free throw, a shot, right? It's a free shot that you normally get in the middle of the game. Oh. Somebody fouls you. Put your arm out, you're shooting. I shoot, you hit my arm, Ooh. the foul, I get to go to the free throw line. Uh-oh, I made a foul. <laughs> Whoa, swish! <laughs> Tamika's really good at that. <laughs> Let's see if I can make it, because I don't want to get a letter. Uh-oh, uh <laughs> I missed it. So that means I get the letter B. Yeah, B for Blippi. <laughs> Good dribble. We've been working on it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I hope I make it. <laughs> oh, uh oh, I missed again. That means I get an L. <laughs> okay, here goes Tamika. All right, Blippi, we're going to bring it in a little bit, okay? <laughs> Thanks. Try to make it easy. Off the backboard. Mm -hmm. You think you can hit that? You know what a backboard is? Yeah, the backboard. That's that big rectangle behind the hoop. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, here we go. Good job, Blippi. Yeah, we made it. Wait, don't get a letter. <laughs> Woo. Maybe we can try a silly shot. Oh. Let's try behind the backboard. We can try it. I don't want to break the clock, though. Well, that's okay. <laughs> don't hit the clock. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I got to miss. I got to go after you. Okay, now I get to pick what kind of shot we make. Hmm, maybe a silly shot behind the back. Here we go. Woo. Oh, Whoa. I made it. Oh, good job, that was a really you. tricky shot. That was good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, uh -oh. I got a B. <laughs> okay, so Tamika has a B, and I have a B and an L. <laughs> okay, let's keep playing. <laughs> Whoa! 
<laughs> Tamika is really good at playing basketball. <laughs> Okay. It's okay to miss a shot, because you can just take another one. But that also means I get an I! B L I! <laughs> How about underhand? We're gonna go to the NBA three-point line. <sighs> We're gonna go underhand though. Okay. Brandy style. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> oh, a little bit too hard. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna try the same shot because it's a pretty tricky one. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Hey, I made it! Maybe we can make an even bigger shot! Ooh, maybe if we back up to half court, we can make a really, really, really big I shot! I like it! <laughs> okay, let's keep backing up. Here we go! Here we go, Blippi! Ah! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I missed! <laughs> this one is extra tricky! <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> good job. <Ooh. laughs> You're getting good at this. Oh. Practice. Well, Practice. You, you are a really good coach, too. <laughs> oh, Whoa. no! Uh oh! <laughs> I got a B L. A B L. And I have a B L I. Oh, it's getting really close. Hey. Kind of. <laughs> so we're gonna do a right-handed hook shot. Okay, a right-handed hook shot? <laughs> Whoa. But we're gonna get a pass from Boomer. Can I get a pass from Boomer? Yeah, let's get a pass from Boomer. <laughs> All right, Boomer. I'm open. Yes! Whoa! <laughs> Tamika made it! <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna get a pass from Boomer. Gotta post up, post up. Well, that looked a little bit different than my shot. Oh no, I forgot something. Did I do a hook shot? Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> so I think I get another letter. I'll give you another chance. Oh, another chance? Yeah. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah. Thanks. Post up. Okay. Ooh. And do you remember the kind of shot that I need to make? A hook shot. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it was really close. <laughs> But I still get a letter. P. B. L. I. P. <laughs> Behind the backboard. Let's try it. Behind the backboard. I think we can get this one. You got it. Whoa! Hey! Wow! Did you see that? Whoa! <laughs> okay, now it's my turn. Oh! oh. <laughs> uh oh, I missed again. That means I get another letter. P. Again. B-L-I-P-P. -P. Uh, we're still missing one letter. <laughs> Let's keep playing. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that was great. Okay, my turn. Your turn. Let's go, Blippi. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. I get another letter. And that means B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. <gasps> Tamika wins! <laughs> oh, I think you look exhausted. You are sweating. We might need to take a hydration break. Yeah, let's take a hydration break and get some water. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that was so much fun playing basketball and really tiring. <laughs> You're really good at basketball. You must have played for a really long time. <laughs> well, it takes a lot of practice. <laughs> well, when did you start playing? I started playing basketball when I was in third grade, Whoa. but I've been around basketball almost my whole life because my dad played in the NBA. Oh, your dad played basketball? That sounds so fun. <laughs> my dad, my brother, my sister, my mom, and me. Whoa, that's great. <laughs> well, how did you get into basketball? Well, one of the main things and one of the main reasons I played sports, I was born with a hearing disability, so I wear hearing aids. But when I was younger, I got made fun of. And so sports was where I could go and practice and practice and get really, really good at something so people couldn't make fun of me. <laughs> Whoa, that's so great and really inspiring. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's important to find your passion. Oh, basketball is my passion, and I know that all of you have your own passion. <laughs> oh, I have a passion too. I love to dance. <laughs> oh, 
And I do have one other question. If I wanted to get better at basketball, or maybe you want to become a professional basketball player, do you have any advice? I have a lot of advice, but I think the biggest thing that you have to set a goal. And once you set a goal, you have to practice, practice, and practice until you get tired. But even more importantly, that you have to make good grades. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds really important. Making good grades, practicing, and setting a goal. <laughs> do you know what a goal is? Yeah, a goal is something you want to do. And then you work really, really hard to do that goal. <laughs> oh, well, I had so much fun playing basketball and exercising with you. But do you know another way that is really fun to exercise? Hmm. Dancing! <laughs> hey, Tamika, would you like to learn how to dance like me? Well, Blippi, I don't know. You're so good. But maybe I'll try my best. <laughs> OK, it sounds good. Let's learn to dance. OK, the first thing you need to know to dance like me is, yeah, get, got to get warmed up. So move around, do some stretching. Oh, but we already played basketball and stretched, so we're all ready to dance. Woo! The second thing is you want to move your body just however you want, and you can even do dance moves. Maybe, you know, jiggly arms. <laughs> or since we're playing basketball, Dribbly arms! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I'm dribbling basketballs! <laughs> wow, that's fun! <laughs> Are you ready to dance together I'm, for real? I'm always ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Time to dance! <laughs> That was so much fun dancing! <laughs> Great Woo. job, Tamika! Thank you, Blippi. Yeah. I'm tired! Oh, I'm tired, too. Woo! I had a really good time with you today. Uh, I had a really nice time with you. Thanks so much for teaching me so many things about basketball and for being my coach. Oh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I might start blushing. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice. Oh, well, maybe we should try one more shot. You ready for it? I'm ready. All right, here we go. You made it! <laughs> Whoa! I can't believe we got to play basketball with Tamika Catchings! <laughs> and we had a really fun day, learning about stretching and exercising and being really healthy. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Flippy! Good job! Well, I'll see you soon! <laughs> <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy, and today I'm at Moxie in Santa Barbara, California! Yeah, it's a really cool children's museum of exploration and innovation! So today, you and I are going to learn a lot about science. Yeah, maybe some stuff like hearing? Yeah! Sound? Whoa! And speed? Whoa! Slow! Fast! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! Come on! <laughs> what are you doing? Come on! Come here! <laughs> Come on! Hello! Whoa! Check it out! This is a massive guitar! Whoa! Cool! Yeah! Have you ever seen someone play a guitar before? Yeah! Yeah, guitars are so cool. Ooh, and when you strum the strings, it makes some noise. Hey, let's listen. All right, here we go. Tighten this up. <laughs> Little out of tune, but it still sounds really cool. All right, now let me move this up. Yeah. And when I move it up, It'll tighten the strings. Whoa! 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 Which effectively makes it tighter and shorter. And now listen to how it sounds. Whoa! Higher pitched! Cool! 
let's keep exploring. Whoa! What's this? Whoa! Another guitar right here. Oh, and more strings. Pretty low. But watch this. I'll put my foot right here to tighten it out. Now listen. Whoa, that sounds a lot better. Oh, and watch this. Whoa, I spin this drum and check out the strings. You can actually see the wavelengths, basically. Did you see that? Check it out a little closer. Whoa! <laughs> cool. Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Simon. Oh, nice to meet you, Simon. I'm Blippi. What are you doing here? Well, this is our sound machine. Sound machine doesn't look like a sound machine. It looks like a table. Well, I got these special little squares with some shapes on them that make some sound for you. Whoa, that sounds like a guitar. I just played the guitar over there. I wonder what this does. Whoa, every single shape has a different instrument. And now Simon and I just made a really cool song. All right, let's see. Whoa! I think we should have a dance party. Are you up for it? Sure. Come on, let's go! is the innovation workshop. Innovation means when you take something old and you make it new or you make it way better. This is gonna be so much fun. I wonder what we're gonna make. Let's go. Cool, the innovation workshop. Wow, look at this place. This is fun. Whoa, it looks like a car. Whoa, cool. Oh, look right here. Looks like some compact Discs? CDs? Yeah! Back in the old days, people used to use these to play music and movies. <laughs> All right. Ooh, some bubble wrap. Listen to this. <laughs> Whoa, what else do we have here? Ooh, rubber bands. I like rubber bands. <laughs> Hope we get to make a craft with some rubber bands. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Whoa, there's someone right over there. Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Kevin. Oh, nice to meet you, Kevin. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? Well, I build stuff in the innovation workshop. Oh, how cool. Well, I'm very excited. What are we gonna build today? Today, we're building a rubber band powered car. Whoa, cool. Can I check it out? Definitely. Whoa, a rubber band powered car. Yeah, rubber bands in a car. So this gets propelled by the power of a rubber band? Exactly. Whoa, cool, how do you do it? So, uh, do you wanna see it go first? Oh yeah, yeah let's, <laughs> let's do, do that. All right, so first you pull the rubber band back. Okay. And then I'm gonna twist the wheel three times, ready? Yep, one, one two, two three. three. And then we let it go. Whoa, that was really cool. Pretty cool, right? All right, I am very excited, let's do this. First step is to build the body of our cars. Okay. We're gonna make a little triangle out of these wooden sticks. Okay. By putting a brass brad through the hole. Okay, there we go, make a triangle. Look at that, looks like a triangle. Perfect, and then <laughs> we have a body of our car like this one. Okay, that makes sense. Now, we've gotta make something to hold our wheels. The wheels are held by an axle. Oh yeah, just like normal cars and trucks on the road, they have piece of metal that goes from one wheel to the other to hold them to the body of the car. Exactly, cool. so we're gonna use a straw to hold our axle to the body of our car. Oh, cool. So we've got some straws and then a wooden stick. Okay. And we're gonna use hot glue to attach it now. Oh, okay, all right. So before we use hot glue, we gotta put on our heat resistant gloves so we don't hurt our fingers. Okay, wow. Safety first. <laughs> hot glue is definitely something that only grown-ups should use because this is very, very hot. And that's why we're wearing this, these gloves. Yeah, even grown-ups have to be careful. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So now we're gonna put our wheels on the back here. Okay. So 
Let's put the big wheels on the back so it goes really fast. Oh, yeah. To get through the hole there. Okay, so you put a piece of wood between these? Right. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Wow. Nice. <laughs> All right. Here, here's one wheel and tire. There we go. And then, oh, yours looks really good. Looks like half a car. Yeah, it does. Whoa, cool. Wow. And same thing. <laughs> All right. The front, we're going to put the axle through. Okay. Get through. And for the front, we've got little wheels to put on. Okay. That makes sense. Big wheels in the back for more traction. And then little wheels in the front for great steering. <laughs> Whoa, now it definitely looks like a car. Look at this. <laughs> So we're just missing the last piece, which is our rubber band to make it go. Oh, all right. So to wrap the rubber band around, we need a little piece of wood on our back axle. All right. That looks good. Now, are we ready? We're ready to add our rubber band. All right. This has to dry for a little bit. So when we wait for that to dry, we'll add our rubber bands. All right. Let's wait for it to dry. <laughs> All right, I think it's about dry, right? Yep, mine's dry. Perfect. All right, well, how do we do the rubber band? Let's add our rubber band. We're gonna attach it to the front of our car. Okay. By putting it around that brass brad, the shiny thing. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Is yours attached like that? Yep, it Great. is. And now we do that last step where we wrap it around the back. Okay, and I do remember three rotations. That's right. You ready? One, One. Oh. <laughs> two, three. All right, mine is ready. Are you ready to race? I'm ready to race. All right. Oh. Almost. <laughs> ready? And on your marks. Uh-oh. Oh. Get set, go. go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try that again. All right, here I go. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh. Wow. Well, Sometimes we have to embrace our failure. Exactly. It didn't work today. <laughs> yeah. So maybe if we sit here for a while and then we figure out what went wrong, then we can improve on it. And then they will go super fast like this one. Let's try that one again. Let's that try one worked. It again. <laughs> Whoa. And look at this one. Wow. This is still a rubber band powered car? That's still a rubber band powered car. It works the same way. All right. I'll try this one. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! Whoa, you that was worked. Good job. <laughs> nice well, race. thank you so much for teaching us how to make a rubber band powered car. <laughs> Thanks for building with me. All right, I'm gonna keep exploring. Okay. So, see you later. Have fun. Bye bye. Did you see this car? Wow, it looks so fast. Yeah, it has wheels and tires. Ooh, and it has a green front, a blue middle. Yeah, and then a yellow back. Whoa, look in here. Looks like a lot of parts of cars. Hey, why don't we make a car? Whoa, all right. Looks like we have a lot of parts to choose from. All right. Let's see. Ooh, we have some black wheels and tires. Ooh, and some green wheels and tires. Okay, so let's pick a body. Whoa, look, we have some long bodies. We have some short bodies. Ooh, I think, yeah, right here. Yeah, and that one had a short body. So let's pick a long body. And look, my two favorite colors. I wish I could just use both. But I need to pick one. Let's pick orange, okay? And then we need a front and a back. Let's see here. Why don't I use a blue front? Yeah, oh, and we can use a blue back. There we go. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> yeah, all right. Now we need to pick our wheels and tires. We have the green big ones and the black small ones. So now we have two black wheels and tires and two green wheels and tires. All right, let's compare these two. All right, so the one we made is definitely longer. It also has green wheels and tires while this one doesn't. Hmm, hey, look, 
Looks like there's a scale. All right, we can weigh them and see what one's heavier. All right, this one says one pound, three ounces. All right, let's see what this one says. One pound, five ounces. So that means this one is heavier. Wow, I wish there's a place where we could race them at. Oh, whoa, look! Wow, a racetrack! Whoa, and look at these! You can raise and lower the track. Come check it out. Wow, see this? Wow, that looks pretty good. All right, maybe we can race them and see which one's faster. Okay, here you go. On your marks. There you go. There you go. All right, here we go. Whoa, they're going to the top. So then gravity will pull them down. I wonder who's going to win. There they go. Three, two, one, go. We did such a great job building the faster car. Yeah, faster, slower. That's speed. Whoa, cool. Yeah. Whoa, now we're on the roof of the museum. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a lot of black pipes. Oh, nothing inside. Hey, what are these doing here? Looks like the bottom of some shoes. Whoa, we have orange, we have green. We have blue, and we have purple. Hey, I have an idea. Huh, not really doing anything. Did you hear that? Yeah, look down here. Whoa, kind of sounds like musical instruments. these sandal or parts of a shoe on this pipe, it then pushes air out here. And dependent on the height of the tubes, it makes different sounds. All right, let's hear it again. <laughs> yeah! Hey, I have a great idea. Let's hit that baseline and let's make some music with these tubes. Woo! Woo! Wasn't that so much fun? Yeah! I love science! It was so much fun learning about sounds with you. Did you hear that? Yeah! And I sure do love dancing. Woo! Yeah! You got some pretty great dance skills yourself. Oh, and you can't forget about the cars. Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah! B L I P P I. Flippy, good job. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Whoa, hey, it's me, Flippy. And today we are here at the Royal Air Force Museum in London, England. <laughs> yeah. I am so excited because you and I get to learn about planes. Whoa! <laughs> planes are awesome! Yeah, they're things that people have built so you can fly in the sky. <laughs> hey, can you think of something else that flies in the sky? Hmm. <laughs> yeah! Birds! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! I think planes are so cool because they let people fly just like birds. And today, we get to see some really awesome planes. Come on, let's take a closer look. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! This plane is so big! It's called the Short Sutherland MR5. Wow! And check it out! It has massive propellers! <laughs> yeah, two on each wing. 
two on one wing and two on the other wing. Two and two means four propellers. What? <laughs> Not so many. <laughs> Whoa. And this plane is really big. Yeah, it's 30 feet tall. Oh, <laughs> and 85 feet long. <laughs> yeah, and it has a wingspan of 112 feet. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, and do you notice anything interesting about this plane? Hmm. Yeah, it's the bottom of the plane. Hmm, it looks kind of like a boat. And do you notice the windows? <laughs> yeah, the windows are circles. And maybe you've seen those on a boat or a submarine before. <laughs> yeah, do you know why that is? That's because this is a seaplane. <laughs> yeah, and there are two kinds of seaplanes. There are float planes and flying boats. <laughs> yeah, a float plane is just a regular plane with floaties on the bottom. But a flying boat is a boat on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> it's made of metal. It's so musical. <laughs> Whoa. That is awesome. It's really important that the short Sutherland MR5 is a flying boat because it was built a long time ago. Yeah, and it would fly really far distances across the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> yeah, and there weren't a lot of places for it to land on the land, so it could just land in the water. <laughs> this is so awesome. Hey, let's go take a look inside. Come on. <laughs> Let's keep exploring! <laughs> helicopter. Hello! Whoa! <laughs> this is fun. Driving the helicopter. Whoa! <laughs> this is really cool. Oh, it's so bright and yellow. Yeah! Whoa! Look at it! Whoa! It's a real life rescue helicopter. Yeah! Whoa! It is so cool and so bright. Yeah, it's the color yellow. <laughs> yeah, and it's really important that it's a bright color like yellow. So if you need rescuing, you can see it. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, and check it out. <laughs> this looks familiar. It looks like the same kinds of floaties on a seaplane. <laughs> this is in case it needs to land, it can float in the water. <laughs> Wow, you see up there? Look, it's a really big propeller. Whoa! <laughs> Woo, yeah! A propeller on a rescue helicopter is so strong and so fast, so it can go through any kinds of weather. If it's really windy, or really rainy, <laughs> 
it'll be able to make it through the storm. Wow, oh. hmm. and what's this? <laughs> There's a duck. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Duck. Hello, Blippi. Hi, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing just fine, just being a duck. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, no way. It's the cockpit of the helicopter. Yeah, and you see there's a window. That window is really important because the pilot can look out and make sure the rescue is going great. <laughs> Whoa, and look over here. Come on. <laughs> Look at it, the most important part of a helicopter rescue mission. Yeah, this is the winch. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. The winch is what someone would clip onto. Yeah, so they could drop down from the helicopter and save someone. Yeah, they just grab on tight and whoa, <laughs> up they go back into the helicopter. Whoa, <laughs> once they were inside, there would be a doctor and maybe a snack, <laughs> so they would be nice and safe. Wow, look at it. There's beds and lots of seats and floaty devices. <laughs> Whoa, helicopters are awesome. <laughs> Free. A hangar is a place where they store all kinds of jets and airplanes. Whoa, and look at this jet. Let's go look at the cockpit, come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This is awesome. This jet is called the Tornado. <laughs> Whoa, and it goes really fast. Yeah, look at it. This right here is the cockpit. That's the place where the pilot sits to steer the plane. Ring, ring. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. There's another seat right behind the pilot. Yeah, that's where the navigator sits. And he makes sure that you're going in the right direction. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big and so cool. <laughs> hey, and look here, it has really big wings. Whoa, huh, and it looks like the wings can open up. Yeah, they open up so the plane can do different things. When they're really open, really wide, it helps the plane be nice and stable to land. But if this jet wants to go really, really fast, they close up, woo, to zoom away. <laughs> yeah, and that's really helpful because the tornado likes to fly low. Yeah, really low sometimes as low as a tree. Whoa! <laughs> well, we better go see some more jets. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! There are so many planes and jets here in the hangar. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and look at the back of a tornado. Whoa! <laughs> This is where the jet engines are. Yeah, look, this one doesn't have an engine in it right now. But look, this one does. <laughs> Ooh, hello. <laughs> so shiny. Yeah, these jets can go so fast. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, let's go see if we can find some more. I think this is another jet. Yeah, this jet right here is called a buccaneer, yeah, a buccaneer. Do you know why it's called that? Hmm, I wonder why. Well, I bet it's called that because these planes take off from aircraft carriers, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what an aircraft carrier is? Yeah, they're really big boats that store lots of planes. And do you see this wing? Yeah, look, the wing, they fold, <laughs> yeah, they fold just like your arm can fold or a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, they fold so you can fit lots of plane tight together on an aircraft carrier. Yeah, and look, it has really big wheels and tires. 
<laughs> kind of like a car. But that helps the plane land nice and safe and roll smoothly down the runway. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big. <laughs> Ooh, I think I see another plane, come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> wow, this plane is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! You see the plane hanging above me? Yeah, it's called a Harrier! <laughs> yeah, a Harrier! Whoa! It's also called a jump plane! Hmm, a jump plane? <laughs> I like to jump. Will you jump with me? Okay, let's jump like a jump plane! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun jumping together. Do you know why it's called a jump plane? Yeah, that's because it has really powerful engines that can change direction. Yeah, instead of going out of the back of the airplane, they can go <laughs> under the airplane and it can take off straight up like a helicopter. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, I think I see one last plane that we should look at. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> do you see it? Hmm, do you see another plane? Hmm, I see one too. It's enormous, it's gigantic. It's the Hercules. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. It has a really big nose. Oh, yeah. That's what the front of a jet or plane is called, the nose. <laughs> yeah, and this one has a really big nose. Look, it's the color black. <laughs> Hercules planes are so cool because they're so big. They're so big that they can even transport and carry people and vehicles. <laughs> Whoa, that's really big. This plane can carry cars and trucks? What? <laughs> wow, these jets are so cool. We should keep exploring. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, Mach 2. <laughs> yeah. It's so much fun riding in the cockpit of a plane. <laughs> uh, but this plane looks a little small. Hey, why don't you and I try to find a real cockpit? Whoa, and a really big plane. <laughs> Run, let's keep exploring. Whoa, look at what I'm wearing. This is an actual flight jacket. <laughs> yeah. This is what a pilot would wear if they were flying in an airplane. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. And check it out. Come on. <laughs> it's one of my favorite airplanes. It's a Spitfire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. And there's a person. Let's go say hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Chris. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Chris. Whoa, could you tell me a little bit about this airplane? Yeah, this is a Spitfire. Whoa. It's one of the most beautiful aircraft we have here. <laughs> Whoa, I love this Spitfire. It's so cool. And it's camouflage. Whoa, <laughs> is it green and gray on the top and bottom? Yeah, it's a little bit blue on the, on the, on the bottom. Oh, that's so cool. I bet that's so that if you're on the ground, you can't see it in the sky. That's right. Whoa, blending in. <laughs> uh, Chris, would it be okay if I got in the Spitfire? Mm, okay. <gasps> no way! We get to sit in the cockpit of a real life Spitfire? <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Check it out. I'm in the cockpit of a Spitfire. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. Whoa, 
Chris, what are all these buttons and controls? Yeah, there's so many buttons, aren't there? Yeah. So they tell you like how fast you're going or how much fuel you have or even where you're going. Whoa, that's so cool. It looks like there's all these different dials and levers and buttons. Oh, and is this the steering wheel? Yeah, it's called a spade grip. It looks a bit like a small wheel. Whoa, <laughs> spade grip. And does that turn the plane left and right? Yeah, that makes it go up and down. If you want to go left and right, you have to press those pedals at the bottom. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, there are pedals so you can move the plane left and right with your feet. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, and what's this with my left hand? What's that? What do you think it is? Well, it says, oh, <laughs> I see what that says. Throttle. Wow. So that makes it go faster. Whoa, <laughs> faster and slower. <laughs> Wow, this is so cool. Oh, and what's this over here do? Oh, it looks like it's connected to, to wheels. Why does it need wheels? Yeah, so if you're in the air, you can pull the lever and the wheels go up. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm ready to be a pilot. <laughs> well, thanks so much for teaching me about the Spitfire, Chris. <laughs> you're welcome. Enjoy the flight. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Whoa, I feel like a real life pilot. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at what it is. It's a flight simulator. We've seen so many cool planes and now we get to feel what it's like to fly in one. <laughs> yeah. And this simulator simulates or makes it feel like they're really ultra low flights. So you're in a plane really low to the ground and we're gonna be exploring the country, Wales. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. today here at the Royal Air Force Museum in London, England. We got to see airplanes and jets and rescue helicopters. <laughs> I even got to sit in the cockpit of a Spitfire plane. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great. Okay. B L I P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm on a hike. Whoa, I've been hiking for a very long time today. Yeah, and I think I made it to the top of a mountain. Whoa, this mountain has a lot of bushes, shrubs, trees. Whoa, and really big rocks? So cool! Wow, I love going on hikes because you get out in nature, you smell the fresh air. <sighs> wow, and look at how high we are up here on the mountain. You can see so many mountains. Hello, mountains! Hello, mountains! Whoa, did you hear it echo? That's <laughs> so cool! <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Look, do you see that? That looks like a big dome. Yeah, that must be where a telescope is. Yeah, today we're at Mount Wilson Observatory on Mount Wilson in California. And this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go explore. <laughs> This dome is massive! Wow, it is so big. There's definitely a telescope inside there. Yeah, do you know what a telescope is? 
Yeah, it's a piece of equipment used to peer out into outer space. You can see planets, you can see stars, and all sorts of cool things. Yeah, the people that go into outer space are called astronauts. Yeah, but the people from Earth that study outer space are called astronomers. Today, you and I can be astronomers. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Did you hear that echo? Yeah, that's because we're in the dome. So cool. Yeah, and speaking of cool, yeah, check it out. This is the telescope. Oh, I sure do love that color. Yeah, it's the color blue. You already know, it's one of my two favorite colors. Whoa! Do you know how a telescope works? Yeah. Basically, there's an opening up top, way up there. Some light enters, say from a star or a planet, and then it bounces off some mirrors, and then it goes to the eyepiece. Oh, the eyepiece? Yeah! Whoa. Check it out! Yeah, this is what you look through to see things at night with a telescope. Whoa! Yeah! Do you want to see what you could see with this exact telescope if it was nighttime? Yeah! Woo! Yeah, do you see that? That is the planet Saturn! Whoa! And I know it's Saturn because of all those colorful rings. So cool! Woo! And what's that? Yeah! That's our planet Jupiter! That's the biggest planet in our solar system. Whoa, it's so big. Whoa, and it looks like Jupiter has a lot of moons. Wow, <laughs> yeah, planet Earth, we only have one moon. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Yeah, looks like Andromeda Galaxy. That is the closest galaxy to our galaxy. Our galaxy is the Milky Way Galaxy. Whoa! Oh, and what's that? Ooh, Orion Nebula. Yeah, that is where all the stars are born in our galaxy. Whoa, <laughs> this telescope is awesome. And how it sees all these things in outer space, since they're in different locations, that means this telescope moves. <laughs> Maybe we can go to the control board and move the telescope ourselves. Yeah, let's go. So many stairs. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, who are you? Hi, I'm Tom. Oh, nice to meet you, Tom. Hi. I'm Blippi. What do Good you do here? Good to meet here? you. I'm the telescope operator. Ooh, the telescope operator. Yes. So that means you push buttons to make the telescope go left, right, up, down? That's right. Wow. Why do you have a computer here, Tom? This uh, tells me the address of what I want to look at. If I want to look at this, star, uh -huh. it tells me where to look. Wow, that's really cool. He needs a computer to have the address of say a planet or a star, and that tells him where to point the telescope at. Right. Wow, that is really cool. And why do you have a clock way over there? Well, I have to tell the time. This is star time. Ooh, star time? Exactly, it's oh. called a sidereal clock. Ooh, a sidereal clock. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you can't look at stars during the day. <laughs> Ooh, and what are all these buttons? These are to move the telescope. I have to point, move the scope to the star or object I want to look at. Ooh, N-E-S-W. North, east, south, west? That's right. Whoa, cool. And Tom, do you mind if we like operate the telescope and maybe make something move? Sure, let's open up the dome first. Cool. Would you push that button, please? This button? Yes. All right, here we go. Whoa. What do you think? That was really cool. <laughs> Thanks for letting me do that. And uh, what else does the telescope do? Well, we have to move the dome around. We have to point it in different directions. Oh. Wait here a second. Let me let me show you. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready?
What do you think of that? Wow, that was awesome! Thank you so much for showing me this awesome telescope! Glad to have you here. All right, see you later. So long. Bye-bye. Bye. Whoa, check it out. We're at the Astronomical Museum. Yeah, and at this place, they have a lot of really cool old gadgets that they used to use to learn about outer space. Shall we? <laughs> Whoa, look at these. Whoa, they look like wheels. Yeah, like wheels on a car. <laughs> but actually, these are wheels that are on the dome. So then the dome can spin around. So cool. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. I know what this is. It kind of looks like a telescope, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Whoa, you can see stars with this, planets. Whoa, other galaxies maybe? Oh, cool. Whoa, excuse me. <laughs> Whoa, look. This is a really big piece of glass. Wow. Yeah, remember how telescopes work? Yeah, you have a mirror and another mirror and light bounces back and then eventually after it bounces off a couple mirrors, then it goes into the eyepiece. And this piece of glass used to have silver on it. So then it was really shiny like a mirror. <laughs> oh, speaking of mirrors, look, there's a mirror right over there. Whoa, whoa, hello. Yeah, this mirror came from a real telescope. A very old one, of course. Yeah, because we're at a museum. Well, shall we keep learning about telescopes and outer space? Yeah. Whoa, check it out, another telescope. And this is the 150 foot solar telescope. Solar means sun. Yeah, this telescope, you can look at the sun. Okay, before we go in, I have to tell you, never look at the sun unless you have a solar telescope, okay? It's very important, it's not good for our eyes. <laughs> good job, all right, let's go. Wow! Whoa! Cool! Check this out! Whoa! Look at all of these charts! Whoa, and graphs! <laughs> Ooh, and some pictures of the sun! Yeah, we're definitely in the right place to find the solar telescope. Let's see, where could it be? Hmm. <gasps> Whoa! Cool! Yeah, here it is! <laughs> It is so cool. And remember how I said it's a 150 foot solar telescope? Yeah, that's because the telescope itself is 150 feet tall. Yeah, that's really tall. That's about 50 meters, whoa. All right, you never wanna look directly at the sun, okay? And the only reason why we're gonna be able to see the sun is because we're using a solar telescope, not a normal telescope, a solar telescope. All right, are you ready? <laughs> Oh, whoa, check it out. Whoa, do you see this? Yeah, this is a live image of our sun. Yeah, this light is coming down and hitting this white piece of paper. Yeah, so we can see our sun right now. This is so cool. Whoa, I love solar telescopes. Yeah. Whoa. I think we're in outer space. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Blast off thousands of miles an hour Using all of that big rocket power It's so loud, oh you just can't ignore it Take you into outer space Maybe you and aliens will come face to face I'll take you on a journey to the stars and back Making our own way cause we ain't got no track And so we need to use a seatbelt There's no gravity we are searching for Something planetary heading home for Earth 
we do it gradually Gotta get back home to humanity Blast off thousands of miles an hour Using all of that big rocket power It's so loud, oh you just can't ignore it See you later as we fly out of orbit Fly my rocket far away Flying far away in outer space Blast off from the base Taking off to outer space Fly my rocket far away Flying far away in outer space Blast off from the base Taking off to outer space Hasn't this been so much fun learning about outer space and telescopes together? Yeah! Hey, do you know how many planets are in our solar system? Yeah, there's actually eight. All right, so first we have our sun. Yeah, and then we have Mercury, <laughs> Venus, Earth, that's our planet, <laughs> Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, whoa! And all of these planets rotate around our sun. And we are in the Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> wow, wasn't that so much fun today? Yeah, I had a great day with you, learning about outer space. Yeah, aren't telescopes really cool? Yeah, it's so cool being able to see into outer space, seeing some planets, stars, and all sorts of cool things. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> E-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> It's me, Blippi! <laughs> and today, we're here at Angel Stadium in Anaheim, California. <laughs> and today, we get to go to Monster Jam! <laughs> yeah! Monster Jam is an event with monster trucks! <laughs> yeah! Do you know what a monster truck is? You do? Have you seen one before? <laughs> they are enormous! They are gigantic! <laughs> well, I'm really excited to see a monster truck. Oh, and maybe we can even meet the driver. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool, seeing them race and jump off ramps and maybe even do a flip. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I can't wait to see a Monster Jam monster truck up close. <laughs> I've been driving around in my Blippi Mobile all day trying to find one. Hmm. Do you see a monster truck anywhere around here? Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's a monster truck. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big. <laughs> no way. And look at who it is. Hey, what's up, Blippi? <laughs> It's professional Monster Jam driver, Barry Musauer! <laughs> Whoa, it's What's so good up? to see you! <laughs> it's great to be here, man. Whoa, and look at this! This monster truck is huge! <laughs> is this a Monster Jam monster truck? This is. This is Grave Digger, but this is a special Grave Digger because it actually can take passengers for a ride in a real Monster Jam truck. <laughs> Whoa, no way! Did you hear that? You can go for a ride in this monster truck! <laughs> that sounds so fun! <laughs> Oh, and Bari, is this your monster truck? No, my monster truck's actually inside. It's called Zombie, and it's got zombie arms on it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's a 
silly. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Can we take a closer look at your monster trap? Yeah, let's take a look at it. Let's go inside. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Oh, wait a minute. We can go there on the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> would you like to take a ride with me? I would love to go in the Blippi Mobile. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! It's zombie. <laughs> Awesome, can we take a closer look? Yeah, come on, check it out. Whoa! What's your favorite thing about driving in a monster truck? Oh, aside from meeting all the great Monster Jam fans, I love doing donuts. Oh, a donut? Is that when you drive around in a circle? Whoa! Yep, and I also <laughs> like to eat donuts too. Oh, I like to eat donuts too. <laughs> They're so yummy! Do you like to eat donuts too? Yum! <laughs> Whoa, and this thing is so big. Yeah. Whoa, check it out. These wheels, they're enormous. These tires are 66 inches tall, and they are 43 inches wide, and they weigh 650 pounds. 650 <laughs> pounds? Oh! Yeah. Whoa, those are so big, so tall, and so heavy. Whoa, and what's this? This is the engine. This is a 540 cubic inch Merlin racing engine, and it runs on methanol for fuel, and man, is it powerful. Whoa, methanol? Hmm. So it doesn't use gasoline? Nope, methanol, it burns clean, and it gives us a whole lot of horsepower. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of horsepower, and a lot of horses. <laughs> Ooh, well, what are these right here? Those are the shocks. You wanna come check those out? Get a closer look? <laughs> okay, let's go take a closer look at the shocks. All okay, right. I'll see you around the back. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, look at how tall Zombie is. Whoa, <laughs> it's taller than us. <laughs> And these right here, are those the shocks? These are the shocks. They have 30 inches of travel in the back, 26 inches of travel in the front. That's how we absorb those huge, big air jumps. <laughs> Whoa, did you hear that? Yeah, a truck like this has shocks. So if it takes a really big jump, <laughs> you can land nice and safely. <laughs> yep. Whoa, and what's this right here? This is the wheelie bar, man. This is for when I'm doing those really cool slap wheelies and I get to drag this thing in the dirt and it keeps me from tipping over. <laughs> well, that's really important. You don't want to tip over your Monster Jam truck. <laughs> Whoa, and this box, is that where the fuel goes? That is where the fuel goes. Well, this is a pretty cool truck. You think you could show us how to drive it? Yeah, let me show you how to get in. Okay, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Whoa! So excited because you and I get to go in the Monster Jam truck. <laughs> yeah. But first, I ask permission from Bart. That's why I can climb up. And second, I'm not gonna drive it. Uh oh. <laughs> Cause I'm not a professional. Yeah. And I'm gonna be nice and safe. Okay. Time to climb up into Zombie. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. I'm so high up! <laughs> this is awesome! Well, it must be really fun driving a Monster Jam truck! <laughs> it's pretty amazing! <laughs> <The arms. laughs> hey, check it out! Zombie arms! Will you do some zombie arms with us? <laughs> yeah, let's do it! Okay! <laughs> Hey, Blippi, what's up, man? Whoa, what are you wearing? Man, this is my racing suit. Mine's decorated in zombie. Whoa, that is so cool. You see it? Yeah, he has a zombie racing suit, but why do you need to wear a racing suit? Well, you have to be safe. When it's time to race these trucks, safety is number one. Mm -hmm. And look, I got you your very own jacket, too. <gasps> no way! <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> Let's put them on. Whoa, it's an official Monster Jam racing jacket. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Here we go. This makes you really official, man. Whoa. Zip that thing right up. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa, check it out. It even has a zipper. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. You're going to be safe just like me. Awesome. Well, 
You get in the truck, and we're gonna watch you someplace really safe. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll get in. But wait, there's one more thing that I gotta have you wear to make sure you're really super safe, okay? <gasps> Check this out. <gasps> Your very own Monster Jam Blippy helmet. <laughs> wow, check it out. It's a Monster Jam Blippy helmet. <gasps> this is the best day ever. <laughs> Woo, this is awesome. <laughs> okay, I'll see you soon. All right, bud. <laughs> Woo. See ya. <laughs> in the truck, I have my blippy helmet, <laughs> and we're ready to race. <laughs> See you soon. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! Do you hear that? The engine is so loud! <laughs> Blippi, let's see what the Blippi Mobile's got. Whoa! Check it out! Oh yeah, let's Whoa! see. <laughs> Woo! 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 Again! Oh, monster. 
monster trucks in the air. Oh, monster trucks in the dirt. Oh, can you hear their engines are going so loud? Better cover your ears. Monster trucks are the coolest thing ever. That was so cool seeing you drive zombie so fast. <laughs> oh man, thanks for coming out, Blippi. That was so much fun to show you zombie. Thanks for showing me the Blippi mobile. Well, you're welcome. Yeah, it was a blast learning so much from you all about Monster Jam, and it was really nice learning from a great driver. <laughs> I can't wait to do it all over again. But before you go, take your helmet with you. Whoa, okay. <laughs> you don't want to forget this. <laughs> thanks, Barry. I'll see you soon. All right, dude. See ya. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome being here today at Monster Jam. We saw some pretty cool trucks that were so big and so loud. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>